Hey guys, we're at the um, Bene Benefeld Pet Hospital. And there he is. We're just waiting until they let us in. So whenever they let us in, I'll work in there. You see him? He's about to get the shots. He hates me. Okay guys, so in the last clip, we went to the vet. He got some shots and swabs and everything, but they actually, this is the first time I've ever went to the vet, they actually took him away from me and took him in the back. Like, I could not go back there with them. It's only for, like, the veterinarian and all them. So I had to sit in the waiting, like, in his room, but it's like, kind of like a waiting room. So I really didn't get to, like, film him with that because I thought they were going to do it in front of me, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but I can announce his name now. His name is Champagne. Um, Champagne Cloud. He came up with my name. I like the first name. His color is champagne color to me. So that's why. Oh my god. I'm sorry about the lighting. It is so bad. But yeah, I just got off work and we went to McAllister's for dinner. It's 9.20 right now. And I'm just tired. But life update. These braces are about to come off. I'm so excited. So I went to the dentist um, Thursday, which is about the same day that, no, I went to the dentist Wednesday, Thursday we went to the doctor's appointment. So this is the day before um, the, his uh, doctor's appointment. I went there and he said, I'll come back in three weeks because they have a really strong wire on my teeth right now. They're like, they're very sore. I can't really chew on anything hard or tacos or anything. I have to eat like noodles and pasta and soup. Which sucks because it's getting warm outside and I don't like eating soup and stuff when it's warm outside. But he said in three weeks I come back, they're going to put the strongest wire on because it evened out my front teeth and the ones on the bottom. And if they're where they want to be, he's going to put the strongest wire on and then I'm going to come back in a couple weeks and he's going to schedule for me to get them off. So I'm so excited. I'm getting so close because our wedding is coming up in October and I'm ready to get these babies off. I've had This is my second round of braces so... If you haven't been watching, welcome. But this is my second round and I'm I'm over it. Um, but my hair, I just like kind of pinned it. I didn't like, I don't have like a sock thing in there. Like you can see, it's just pinned. There's nothing in there. Uh, my dress is from TJ Maxx. I got it from like a long time ago. I know, I'm, like sitting room. Necklace is from like my sister-in-law. She gave it to me. I don't know where she got it. Earrings. Where did I get these? I'm pretty sure I got these at Penny's. Do you see Penny's? Bracelets, I got the black one at a boutique and the other one's rustic cuff. Um, I did get my wedding band to my ring. And of course, they got those at Sam's. Um, I do have a nose ring, but that's one I got a pierce with. But that's all I really have on. My shoes, I'll show you my shoes real quick. My shoes look like this. And I got those from Penny's too. They're really dirty because I was cutting hair, but... Um, they're, they're cute. They're just not that comfortable. So you got the beauty's pain, beauty's pain. So this, um, this is like a few days after the last clip. This is actually Friday. So all from yesterday, but this, um, this video is going to be like a bunch of vlogs put all together. Uh, but I'll see y'all here soon. Okay guys. So I'm kind of back. So we took him to the vet about three days ago and now he is like perfectly fine. He's exactly normal, except for like five minutes ago, I just got like really scared. So maybe. You and it like really scared me because he was like laying on me like he is now, and you could feel him, and it like felt like a hiccup. It was like, like you know, like this, but it was like really rapid and fast, and it freaked me out. So I didn't know if he was okay. So if you know why, and if you know why, like let me know, cause I hope he's okay. Now he's actually normal after the door opened for my fiance. He like jumped, and then it was over. Like you know, like you scared the hiccups out of you, but. I don't know. He's not doing it anymore. But he acts all hot all the time. And the AC's on. Can you hear him panting? Like, look. He's so sweepy. He's such a good boy. Anyway, um, so. I don't know. This is probably about the end of the video now. It's really short. I'm sorry. Um, I was going to vlog more. We were going to go to the dog park today. But I think we're going to go tomorrow. Um, we had a lot of stuff to do today. I almost have our apartment co a tour coming because I've got a few pictures to fill, like those on the wall. They're not my pictures. And we just got our new dining room table today. Um, but I'll put like my empty tour and then the full tour because my empty tour was only like two minutes long before we moved in, like, uh, three or four months ago. So 
I'll do a empty tour and then a full house tour with all my decorations and everything. Um, but it's getting close to being done. I just, I have a wall that needs something on it and I don't know what to put there. Um, but it's getting really close. Like I still need, sorry, my head's a G. I still need, um, like, you know, like tables for like the side, are they bedside tables or nightstands? I know I still need some of those. Oh, and I got my hair cut like to a style. Like it's not like cut really short. Um, cause I didn't want to cut it short again. Because I've had my hair, like, like here, literally. Um, but it, like, it rushed my shoulders. Like, I'll straighten it and I'll do a video over, like, my hair and how I style it with short hair. Um, it's, like, 9 o'clock and I rub my eyes like I'm a little kid. <laughs> but my fiancé just, I don't know if you guys do this, but I work in a fast food industry and I work in a hair industry, so I work in both and I do customer service all day. And I always get phone calls about customer complaints. Like, you forgot this, you forgot that, which doesn't bother me. But, like, when I go out to eat, like, the last three times we went out to eat, something has been wrong with our order. Like, and it's just getting irritating. And it's been, like, three different places. So, like, I don't go back to the place that messed it up, even though I got it fixed. So, the first time they messed it up, I didn't call. I was like, it was whatever. You know, I, I deal with this at my job, so I'm not going to irritate someone else. Then the second time it happened, the same thing happened at Whataburger. They put some, like, creamy jalapeno on an avocado burger that's not supposed to have that. And I had to, like, drink milk to calm my mouth down. And then we went to McDonald's. I know. I sound like a fat person. I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm going to, like, fast food so bad. But I'm too lazy to make food. So maybe I should do that, but <laughs> I don't. It re in real life, when you work two jobs and you don't get home till 9 o'clock and you start at 6 o'clock a.m. every day, I mean, you never have time to actually sit down have dinner and cook dinner it's hard and um and then I do this job too so that's kind of like three jobs but I have fun doing this one and my other job I just have a main job that I work 50 hours at so it's a lot of work but I mean I have fun with what I do so I look like crap I'm so sorry these videos I probably look like crap and I'm gonna work on that but <laughs> I'm tired so we went to uh, McDonald's and I always get he always gets to me doubles plain and then I always get like the fish fillet or chicken nugget combo but I got the fish fillet this time and it like when I went to eat the bird like the fillet I always opened up and check there was like half a slice of cheese and no tartar sauce and I was like Tony you're calling them and he was, he was like what do you mean and I was like this is the third time we went out to eat this week and every time I get my order, it's messed up. And I, I was just like, I'm getting irritated. I was like, can you call them and see if they're out of tartar sauce or something? Because there's no reason it should have been. And even on my receipt, it didn't say plain. Only his were plain. So he calls them. And he's like, um, are you guys out of tartar sauce? And they're like, no, sir, we're not. And I was like, okay, well, there's no tartar sauce on my, like, fish fillet. I was just like, oh, my God. And it, I know it sounds stupid, but it gets really irritating. And I work in fast food and I try hardest not to mess anything up and it also depends on like the order taker but my order was correct so that made no sense why it was messed up. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired. But I mean it happens that we're all human I understand that like I'm not mad or anything but it's just like recently going out to eat like we went, the first one was McAllister's they messed up my order the second one was Whataburger and then the third one was um McDonald's like I didn't expect McDonald's to mess up their order like you know but it's okay and everything will be fine just major meltdown sorry I had to rant um but yeah that's kind of like life update I mean our puppy is doing good he's almost been a week in our house um he's right at 12 weeks old too so he's being a good boy yeah he's sleeping on me now he did get in trouble he had one accident what was it yesterday or no it was the day before yesterday we went and watched that new um marvel movie in like infinity war to me totally not worth it i'm not a marvel fan um but it was okay it was a really good movie but it wasn't like the greatest like I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm not into Marvel. But they already gave the guy, like, the two stones. So, you didn't get to see him get those. So, they gave him, like, the most powerful, which I think was dumb. But anyway, we went to go see the movie. He broke out of his cage. Like, unlocked the cage and let himself out. 
which I don't know how he did that because we have like the we have a lock on the cage just the middle cage and then they have like the little hooks that go over to like super do lock it so you can't get out which I knew that he would get out because his dad they told me that his daddy was like lets himself out of the cage so I was like oh no we're getting a cage with some locks because that ain't happening well, he lets himself out, and I get a pair of um, these white loafers. I'll probably post um, a picture of my outfit. But I got a pair of these white loafers from Target, and they were like 23 bucks. So they're really, really cute for a cheap price. And they kind of like look like Gucci, Gucci loafers. So I was like, okay. And I left them like on top of Scooter's cage, where Scooter's is like small, and his is like this big one, and his is Scooter's is like down here. And I left him on top there because Scooter doesn't chew up my stuff. So, I mean, he's trained. And um, he gets a hold of takes the shoes out of the box, chews up one shoe, and then I get home and there's like shit, literally shit, all over my bedroom floor. And I was just like, breathe, it's going to be okay. And I was like, come here. And I made him smell his poop. I was like, you don't poop in the house. I said, you see this shoe? And I spanked it with the shoe. And I was like, you don't chew on the shoe. And then my fiance is like, don't spank him for that. And I'm like, he has to get spanked to know, like, this is wrong. Because I walked in on him chewing the shoe. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, yelled at him. But, I mean, my dog that I have now that's, like, seven doesn't do anything wrong with that. Because I got onto him and showed him the right thing. So, me getting onto my dog is the right thing to show him that he, like, to do the right thing. Now, he does the right thing. He just lays and sleeps and plays and goes potty outside. Hi. Hey. Yeah, he went back to McDonald's for me. Did they let you? Did they fix it? Okay. Love you. Love you too, baby. Mmm. Can we make a kiss? Charge. That freaked me out. I don't know what that was. Like, his pickup thing? Yeah. You want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. <laughs> Take a nap, babe. You don't want to sit out here with me? No, I'm showering. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.